an actor who first performed in the Hartman Theater in Plattsburgh, New York, now takes center stage in Broadway's August Wilson Theater. Award-winning actor John Lloyd Young plays the lead role in Broadway's Jersey Boys. Even though the bright lights of New York City now shine on the young star, he says he's grateful he was raised as a small-town boy. You'd be like heaven to touch I want to hold you so much At long last love has arrived And I thank God I'm alive You're just too good to be true Can't take my eyes off you A caricature of rising star John Lloyd Young can't take his eyes off the diners in Sardi's restaurant near Broadway. The former Plattsburgh resident has joined Liza and Lucy as an icon in the world famous eatery. Oh, pretty baby, don't bring me down, I pray. Oh, pretty baby, now that I found you, stay and let me love you, baby. Let me love you. Young plays singer Frankie Valley in the Broadway hit Jersey Boys a musical about the 1960s band, The Four Seasons. They ask you, what was the high point? The Hall of Fame, selling all those records, pulling Sherry out of the hat? It was all great. But four guys under a street lamp, when it was all still ahead of us, the first time we made that sound, our sound, when everything dropped away and all there was was the music, that was the best. That's why I'm still out there singing. Like that bunny on TV with a battery, I just keep going and going and going, chasing the music, trying to get home. I've been in shows before where people stand up in the middle of the show, but it was to leave. <laughs> You know, when I was doing shows downtown, uh, you know, off off Broadway, experimental theater, this is the only show that I've ever been in where people stand up in the middle of the show to applaud. Sherry, Sherry, baby, Sherry, 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 baby, Sherry, Sherry, baby, baby. For his first role on Broadway. Young was cast in a part demanding 27 songs per performance, often in falsetto. The first time I ever heard Frankie Valli, I was a little kid. He was singing Sherry, and I remember thinking to myself, why is he singing like a girl? Uh, all these years later, you know, playing Frankie Valli on Broadway, I've often thought to myself, now you're singing like a girl. <laughs> so you're getting, a, you're getting your payback for that, that uh, disrespectful comment that you made when you were seven. Young spends the majority of the show on stage. You have to keep the ball up in the air for two hours straight. During the first year of Jersey Boys, Young's commitment included all eight performances, every week. Performing an eight-show week for any actor playing Frankie Valli is all-consuming. My regimen is the only way that I can survive it, and that includes training once a week with my voice teacher, training in the pool at least once a week for breath support and for body conditioning, my diet is an athlete's diet. I have to get seven and a half hours of sleep at least every night in order to handle the singing demands of the show. Um, and I can't drink caffeine because caffeine dries you out. I can't drink alcohol because that dries you out. So to live the life of a singer who's singing 27 songs a show multiple times a week requires an athlete's discipline and an athlete's regimen. It's a love-hate relationship with the falsetto. It was the key to getting this role, but it's also the bane of my existence because I have to be a slave to 
the rigors of the role. A lot of people at the stage door ask me if my throat hurts after the show. Well, it can't, or else you can't last for months and months and months and months singing like that. Actually singing falsetto doesn't hurt your voice unless you don't really have those notes and you're trying to force them out. Young says the music reaches audience members of all ages. The actor's mother, Gail Young of Plattsburgh, says the performances in Jersey Boys even impressed those who originally created the songs. Young introduced his mother to Frankie Valli, who sings her son's praises. The nicest thing that Frankie Valli has said about John is that when he hears John singing with the Jersey Boys CD, that sometimes he actually has to stop and think and say, hmm, is that us or is that Jersey Boys cast? And I think that's the ultimate compliment Frankie Valli could give to John. More accolades came to Young at this ceremony in May of 2006. And the Drama Desk Award goes to John Lloyd Young, Jersey Boys! <laughs> The Broadway beginner won the award for Outstanding Actor in a Musical. Thank you. The following month, Young attended the Tony Awards ceremony. He was nominated for one of Broadway's highest honors the Tony for Best Performance by a Leading Actor in a Musical. His mother also went to the show. So they had the category up for Best Lead Actor in a Musical. And I said to the people next to me, oh my God, this is it, this is it, because it's so exciting. And so you listen for the names and you almost don't even, you don't even hear anything else. You're just waiting for the winner. And as soon as they said John Lloyd Young, Jersey Boys, we were, enough far back that we just got up out of our seats and we were like jumping in the aisles and hugging everybody in sight and so it was very exciting. Young dedicated the award to his father, an Air Force officer who wasn't always sure his son would succeed on the stage. A few months before the Tonys, my father emailed me. And he said that he had always wanted to be an actor and now he could live vicariously through me. So when I was thinking of what I would say if I won, I thought it was very fitting to celebrate the fact that we had finally come together. The very first thing he said to me after he won the Tony Award, he um, said to me, thank you for taking me to my first audition. That's exactly what he said. So I said, you're welcome. <laughs> it was in this building at the State University of New York in Plattsburgh where the actor made his debut. The six-year-old played an incarnation of the melting witch in The Wizard of Oz, a small role that made a big impression. And I ran across the stage screaming, I'm shrinking, I'm shrinking, I'm shrinking. I remember practicing those lines with my mother. They were my only lines in the show, and the audience just roared. Um, I was hooked. <laughs> you just knew that he was very special, that he had a lot of talent. You knew that in these shows, he did a very good job. He could sing. He was singing at age two and sang um, in front of people at age three and four. And he did all his own makeup. He had that talent right away. And you could just tell on stage, he just loved being there, loved entertaining, and loved performing. Young says growing up in the small city of Plattsburgh helped him focus on the bright lights of Broadway. The limitations of a small town are also its greatest benefits because you discover you want to do something and there aren't so many resources for you to be able to flesh that out in the town that you live in. It builds up a burning desire inside to go out and, and, and find a way to do it. At the time that I was a kid in Plattsburgh, there was no internet. So all I had were cast albums in the library. 
Um, I could read plays at the library or go to the Cornerstone Bookshop and browse the theater section or read the plays. Um, that's how uh, I delved into, into theater. I think that the limitation of a small town is the best thing in terms of stoking the fire under your motivation to go out and do it. In Plattsburgh, he was only a road trip away from the Great White Way. During one weekend, he saw three Broadway shows with his mother and sister. Because we couldn't get enough. <laughs> I think what really attracted me to Broadway was the fact that people were being creative, communicating with audiences, and coming together with other really talented people and making really exciting things happen. So close, so close, so close and yet so far. And that's something that, as a kid, seeing a Broadway show, I understood that that must be really fascinating on the other side of that that you know the stage those people who are bringing that show to us must have a really fascinating job but he's learned it's not a glamorous job these theaters are old and they're dusty backstage and they're not clean and you know it's uh, you see the glamour when you're in the audience and that's how it should be but backstage you know we're like rats scurrying around in these old buildings during a trip to see the show a chorus line a 12 year old young posed for this photo with a prophetic poster in the background. I never expected to win a Tony a year ago, let alone when I was 12 years old. I just knew I was a fan of Broadway. So to now be an adult and have a Tony on my shelf at home, it's kind of touching to look back and remember that young kid who was just excited to have his playbill signed by some chorus member of a chorus line. That young kid did know he wanted to be an actor, and never thought a career in showbiz would be too good to be true. I think the knowledge that that's what you want to do and there's nothing else that you want to do is actually the main ingredient in succeeding at it. After we saw a chorus line, we would go to the stage door and wait for the stars to come out. So we would stand there and I have this really nice picture of him with his pen and pencil and paper waiting to meet some actors and actresses. So what's wonderful about this now is that he is the star and now people are coming to him wanting his autograph. My highest ideal is to choose roles that uplift people or teach them something. I always wanted to, to communicate something like that. I, I think I'm sort of a closet politician, but I find it far more satisfying to do it through art than to do it through uh, politics or, or, or what have you. And that's what's always attracted me to it, the possibility that you might do that. Just too good to be true. In addition to Young's Award, Jersey Boys won three other Tony Awards in 2006. Best Musical, Best Lighting Design, and fellow Jersey Boy Christian Hoff won Best Performance by a Featured Actor in a Musical. To learn more about John Lloyd Young, log on to his website at www.johnlloydyoung.com.